Welcome to the Boxer for Educators podcast. In this our inaugural edition, we will be discussing some of the characteristics of collaborative activities. Through a series of pre-recorded questions and answers, we will go over the characteristics of communication, structure, group composition, and grounding, and how they influence learners within the Boxer learning environment. Boxer is a free app that combines the best of voice, text, photo and video messages for a powerful and personal messaging tool. Joining me this morning via Voxer are Crystal Harder and Daryl Bush, instructors in the Voxer for Educators learning community. Good morning everyone. Let me begin by asking Daryl to share his thoughts on what will be the ideal structure in a Voxer for Educators chat. The ideal structure for a Voxer for Educators chat is by using Voxer to convey a set of questions to help spark collaboration and guide the learners to reflect on what it is they are learning. The discussion generated by these questions should be prompt, thoughtful reflection. Thanks, Daryl. I would add that using questions that elicit critical thinking will enable chat members to explore different points of view. Furthermore, it helps to construct new knowledge through the interpretation of new concepts and ideas. Now, this brings me to the importance of communication in a collaborative setting. Crystal, How will you ensure that there is communication in our lesson? Communication in this lesson will be included in three types. The three types of communication, as mentioned by Hall, 2013, include on-task and off-task conversation, feedback, and questioning. Great. I would add focus to on-task and off-task conversations because they add to the development of a sense of community within the groups. Moreover, feedback is also important to help learners reflect throughout the learning experience. Now moving on, Daryl, when it comes to organizational approaches within the lesson, will you prefer to use scripts or to assign roles based on the topics of discussion? I would prefer the structure of a boxer lesson use scripts as opposed to assigning roles to teach how to use the service app. As Hall 2013 states in an article, designing collaborative activities to promote understanding and problem solving, using scripts will allow for organization as well as increase efficiency among the group. To quote Fisher 2007 and others, Because a script involves expectations about the order as well as the occurrence of events, having a script for a situation can help an individual to understand that particular situation, remember procedures to be followed, and predict roles and actions of those involved. Above all, the analysis of concepts and ideas introduced through a script should be constructed based on the needs analysis. Daryl, those are some good observations and they got me thinking about how scripts share elements of scaffolding when guiding the learners in using a stepped approach to the introduction of new concepts and ideas. Good stuff. Having said that, Crystal, what do you think are the differences between on-task and off-task communication? On-task communication will be the conversation around the subject Voxer. Off-task communication will include conversation that is related to the activity, such as the process of completing a task. Crystal, that's brilliant. So I gathered that on-task and off-task conversations help to break the routine and allow Boxer chat participants to become grounded. Daryl, speaking of it, how will you use Boxer to help facilitate grounding amongst chat participants? The use of Voxer for education facilitates social spaces because the learning environment is casual without the pressures and awkwardness of face-to-face encounters. The learners will be able to use the tool to create personal chats with other learners and collaborate with them to develop a deeper relationship with peers. As our learners' attributes alluded to, these educators are interested in building relationships with their peers to discuss teaching methods and ideas. Hall 2013 states, within such online environments, building common ground is more effective when there are distinct social spaces for grounding to occur. Voxer for educators fosters grounding nicely. Absolutely, Voxer is user friendly and its intuitive user interface removes the awkwardness that comes when trying to speak with other learners in person. Thus, finding common ground and interest will assist our learners throughout. Now, I understand that grounding plays an important role in the formation of learning communities. 
However, feedback needs to be part of the learning process. Crystal, can you share your thoughts about the importance of feedback? Feedback is critical to the learning process, and our lesson will include positive feedback to motivate the learner, as well as feedback that will allow the learner an opportunity to improve their learning. Excellent points, Crystal. I would add that feedback plays an important role in the transformational effects of the learning environment, meaning that as educators receive feedback, they reflect and adjust their views when critically thinking about their boxer interactions. Moving on to group composition now. Crystal, what will be taken into consideration to ensure proper group composition? Two things considered importance as stated by Hall 2013 for proper group composition is the size of the groups and the ability of grouping such as the homogeneous and heterogeneous abilities. Our lesson will take into account both of these areas. Great, what about the size of groups in our lesson? In order to ensure all members of the group are participating efficiently, our group sizes will be learners of three. That's perfect. Moreover, having three educators in a group will further increase the opportunities for discussion based on their knowledge and previous experiences. Which leads me to ask you, why will you want to pair them that way? As stated by Hall 2013, research does suggest that heterogeneous with low, middle, and high ability levels might offer the most robust collaboration. With that being said, we will group the learners that way. Thanks, Crystal. You highlighted one of the attributes of our target audience. Educators, in fact, are a heterogeneous group coming from various backgrounds. Therefore, having diverse knowledge and experience will further enhance opportunities for collaboration and might spark innovation through the sharing of best practices for classroom instruction. As this podcast comes to a conclusion, we have discussed throughout our conversation that there is more to collaborating than just placing learners in a room. While Boxer is a great conduit for communication, structure, group composition and grounding. Instructional designers need to integrate the needs of the learner throughout the development process. Therefore, ensuring the collaborative characteristics are taken into consideration to deliver effective instruction that promotes engagement when using Boxer as the learning environment. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our panelists this morning, Crystal and Daryl, for sharing their insightful and thought-provoking analysis. Have a great day and I'll see you online.